Hi guys, this video we're having a look at the Necker um, Deacon from Prometheus. So there it is. See you later, guys. Bye. Ah, oh, I'm only joking. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit meh with this figure, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so negative at the moment lately. No, I'm not. I'm not. There, there's some cool stuff out and I do like all these figures and stuff. I don't know if you can hear my daughter there crying in the background. She's obviously having a row or something. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm just not uh, at the moment. I think I'm just waiting for the new predators and stuff but um, this just doesn't really do it for me. I'm not I'm not saying I dissed the film or anything. I, I've, I, I watched the film didn't like it, I watched the film again, I watched the directory commentary all the way through the film, I watched all the documentaries and that gave me a little bit more love for the film and for what they were doing to be honest. But I, I'm not too keen on this Deacon to be honest. Um, that's not that's not a slight on Necker or anything really, I just I think it's because like a lot of people you love your alien and I guess it's just a bit of naivety, not a naivety, that's the wrong word really. Um, there's just something if you, you know, you love something, so you know, and you hold it dear to your heart and then people start mucking about with it, you know, you feel a bit negative towards it, but um, yeah, we'll see where it go. I think, you know, I'm going give it, to give it a chance, I'm looking forward to the next ones and see what happens, because it's all going to, we know where it's ultimately going to end up, so you know, I'm not going to moan at that, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, uh, <laughs> with these figures, um, I'm just not ex as excited about these as I am the Aliens figures, I think that's what it is, that's what it is, I, I'd rather see Aliens figures coming out than these Prometheus ones, but I dare say once Prometheus has gone full circle and we've seen what it's got to fully offer, then yeah probably love it a little bit more. Anyway, let's have a little look at this. First of all, I want to get these guys out of the way because I'm standing here fiddling with them and I'm, you know, you got some of these the little wormy things that were swimming around. You got the closed one and the open one there. They're just, they're just bendy little things. I've got the wire going through them. So they're just another little extra to throw in the packaging to give you value for money. Um, we have the head. Remember the head they they recovered um, in the chair suit. So that's that. You know, it comes in two parts. Again, gives the packaging a bit more oomph. Um, and the detail that's gone into this is, is is obviously fantastic. You can't complain at that, to be honest. Um, I was just then trying to see if I had my chair suit figure at hand, I don't to be honest, if not I was going to quickly grab that. Ah, uh, oh, no, I'm going to have to move loads of figures to get to it, but anyway, it's I dare say it's probably just the same mould. Um, there, I, I, I'll probably do a little comparison thing once I've got all the previous figures together. Um, yeah, so the detail gone in there, and then you've got the engineer's head in there. Brilliant sculpt again, can't complain about that, but obviously the head that they brought to life. So yeah, brilliant little sculpt there. Absolutely not going to complain about that one bit whatsoever. If it just came with this and not the little worm things, I think that would have been enough to be honest. So yeah, chuffed with that. Um, uh, actually, I'm just going to move him there for a second. He also comes with a little display base. Let's quickly show you the packaging. Pretty boring to be honest, it's just got Prometheus at the top. Um, and then just the hieroglyphics and then the piled up bodies there. And on the back we just have Prometheus Deacon, visionary filmmaker Ridley Scott returns to the genre he helped define, creating an original science fiction epic set in the most dangerous corners of the universe, presenting a, pre presenting, oh, I'll put my teeth in today, presenting a grand new mythology linked to provocative strands of alien DNA. The film takes a team of scientists and explorers on a thrilling journey that will test their physical and mental limits and stand them. 
they're on a distant world where they will discover the answers to our most profound questions and to life's ultimate mystery. And down the bottom we have the obligatory other figures from the set, chair suit engineer, pressure suit engineer, David A, the Deacon, Holloway and Firefield coming soon. I don't know why it doesn't say Holloway coming soon, only under Firefield, so um, anyway these two guys we haven't had yet so um, obviously when they come out I'll do a little video of them. Um, now for the Deacon itself, like I say it comes also with a little platform and you seriously need this because as you can probably tell you can't do anything in terms of standing it up on its own. Oh look at that, I lie and the camera never lies so I just stood it up on its own there um, but I daren't move I ain't going to do it again now am I? <laughs> um, anyway this guy comes with a fair old bit of articulation going on it just, I've got to tell you what, it just looks a bit clumsy to be honest it doesn't look as graceful as the the alien that we we know and love I think that's what it is, it's posture just looks a bit meh so anyway comes with head rotation you can tilt and rotate one brilliant thing I like is the mouth you can extend you can close or um, if you can grab hold of it extend it that little bit of the, that little nod to the alien at the end of the film um, shoulders now now this is a, a funny one um, it's just got an up and down here and there's a slight bit of rotation there but this bit across the shoulders inhibits any movement really to be honest um, elbows you've got your twist and your back and forward and a little ball joint in the, in the wrist there plenty of movement going on there um, nothing in the waist it looks like something should happen there but it doesn't it's just glued solid um, rotation in the in the hip, in and out, in the knee, and back and forward, and again in the, in the foot, it's movement as well. So there's plenty of movement there, but of course, to get him into the onto the stand, there's not really much you can do with him. In you know, it's all very well being able to get him into these poses, but ultimately, your aim is to get him onto the stand. Um, you know, I really think it's good that they gave us the stand, so can't fault that. I'm going to do him quite stood up. If you squish him down, like I want to have him sort of like in a squat position, his feet move outwards and he leans forward, so you have to you have to kind of get it just right. It is a little bit awkward, to be honest. Um, let's see if I just grab. Who shall I grab? I'll just grab David. Because I never, you never really got an idea of scale in the film, how big he's going to be. He's he's obviously bigger than it. I, I mean, I I got the impression he was quite small. I don't know why I thought he was sort of like dog size, if not a little bit bigger. Um, and it wasn't until I compared the the, the figures that I realised actually he's quite big. He's he's obviously bigger than a human. And, and I suppose when you think um, ultimately he, he come out of his daddy there so he's going to be big isn't he really so um, so this is the David 8 figure obviously from the same series and this is the battle damaged engineer from the engineer versus trilobite box set which I'll show you that but I just wanted to give you a quick idea of scale there actually I'm going to move the engineer because the engineer is just ridiculous comparing him to anything if I just move him out of the way there you go, there's the, the recent alien as well, and obviously that alien's in quite a crouched position. So you can see that the Deacon is a lot smaller than the, than the alien. Um, I want to say Deacon and alien at the same time then, nearly come out of acorn. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see that the, the Deacon is obviously of a larger scale than, than the I say human, obviously I know he's a robot before I get corrected on YouTube. Um, and the alien is obviously massive there. And of course, oh hello, 
the deacon, sorry, the engineer in the background there. So that gives you an idea of the scale off them all. Um, uh, I don't really, obviously, there's not really too much more I can say about that. His screen time was obviously very limited as well. Um, for me, yeah, you're going to get this guy purely for the alien links, and I'd rather, to be honest, see this guy come out than another engineer of some form or of another. I know we've got the hologram engineers to come next, which is brilliant. Thank you, Necker. Really looking forward to them. Not that I'd rather see the, the human crew, to be honest, um, over another engineer figure. I wouldn't say no to a little Charlie's Theron and all, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Necker done a good job here. It, 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 it's the it's the exactly what it says on the tin figure, to be honest. So yeah, I'll give it. You know, if I had to give it a rating out of ten for exactly what it is, obviously it, it, it'd get a, a strong seven and a half to eight, to be honest. So yeah, well done, Necker. Um, keep up the good work. And you guys out there, as always, thank you for watching. Um, obviously leave questions and comments and you take care and I'll catch you guys again in the next video. All the best. Bye bye.